having sex with multiple people at the same time, having sex with animals, and all of this stuff. What you find now in today's culture is that things that ought to be private are now made public. And things that should be public, like your faith, are pushed back into the private realm. So we've mm. gotten that all twisted up. Wow, I didn't think about that. <laughs> certainly, certainly. So as you pointed out, not just having a good private life or a good marriage that has been, you know, had longevity, now we have to deal into things that are outside of the bounds of marriage. And what I personally see from it, not just with Will, you know, you had uh, here recently, there was the show about the guy who had sister wives, you know, it was, I think his name is Cody Brown. There's this idea that we just do with marriage what we want. And biblically speaking, just to be very simple, God established two entities or two institutions that are powerful in his creation. First institution God established is marriage. The second most powerful one like unto it is the church. And Paul in Ephesians 5 relates both of them together when he says, husbands, love your wives as Christ loved the church. Wives, submit to your husbands as unto the Lord. At the end of that, he says, I'm also talking about the church. The only thing that I know about prison, and I remember this growing up, prison is a place I don't want to be. So if you describe your marriage as a prison or we can't make it like a prison, then this is something that you really didn't want. It doesn't sound like they're really happy about it. I, I think this is something that they are enduring, but it's not how God designed us. Mm. Well, this is a big topic. So <laughs> let's, let's, you want this to be uh, Tennessee Harmony, where <laughs> Harmony is built around uh, the roots of our nation. We just want to say that again, that uh, th the best of the nation was built around a Judeo-Christian foundation. And so let's, let's just talk about that, because Will is explicitly saying that he had to work through his Christian upbringing. Like, he's got to reject that and free himself from that, so that now he practices polyamory. His daughter uh, met with, uh, you know, his wife on the red table discussions they have, and she talked about, yeah, my thing is polyamory. I think that, you know, being with several people at the same time, that's, that's kind of the way to go. And here's the thing that I thought of, Jason. I thought of uh, back before God revealed himself to Moses, when the Israelites were in Egypt, he gave a list of all the, the sexual sins that people naturally gravitate to without God's direction. Mm -hmm. And so this list includes uh, having sex with your mother, having sex with your sister, having sex with multiple people at the same time, having sex with animals, and all of this stuff. And I just wanted to say, okay, if you're freeing yourself from the restraints of judo-Christian heritage, where's it going to end up? Because uh, when we look at where it's going to end up, it doesn't end up in a very good place.